No, oh, man. I am exhausted. All right, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. And, yo, go hit the bar. So, so, hey, I'm sure everybody's aware of what happened today, man. We tanked. We tagged. We tagged that, um, that, that support I had there of, uh, 411568. And I was afraid if we broke that, we'd be heading for, we'd be heading for, um, the, the 4,000 mark. Um, and, yo, party ain't over. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, um, there could be people out there looking for the uh, off ramp, and this may be it. So we got to see what happens. We need to break that high tomorrow. Um, but what's interesting is um, right here, I've got my 20 line, and that bad boy is um, is um, 44.39, right? So then we jump on over to our weekly, and damn, look at that weekly, dude. Tell me you don't love that. Um, that's a hammer. Um, uh, but okay. So anyway, my 200 period on the weekly is the same as my 20 day mid. And you know what I've told you before, when you get two indicators that, um, that, that are, um, uh, um, jiving or giving you the same number, that's a good target. Baby. That's a good target. So, um, hopefully we close, we don't give back tomorrow. You, you know, that's what I'm afraid of because um, I mean, that's what the, the, um, the habit has been, but this was pretty strong, man. I'm pretty impressed. Um, so if we don't give back tomorrow, even move up, this may be a green hammer, you, you know, hammer, hammer, um, do what you can to go long because we break that hammer next week. That's a long move. Man. That's a long move. Um, and, and we may very well hit that 200 day or that 200 period, but, um, th we may continue. And I mean, this isn't a trend reversal or anything, but this hammer is pretty cool. And if we break uh, the 45.90, we're going up to test uh, the highs. So, and the way this is laid out, right? We're looking at a weekly right now. It could make sense to move um, kind of in that direction in alignment with the time frame of the Fed coming out. We know they're coming out at 25 basis points. We just need to hear a little bit more dovish tone. Um, and, and that'll be cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you, you know, they're, I mean, they're raising. You, you know, there's no doubt that they're raising, but it's going to be slow and steady. Um, and they're going to have a plan, and that's what the market wants to know, a plan. As far as what's going on in the Ukraine, you know, my heart goes out to the Ukrainians. Um, there's some heavy hitting people. I don't think this is going to go smoothly for Putin. I don't think um, it's going to roll over and it's going to become part of Mother Russia. I think this guy's got his, uh, his hands full. Um, obviously, they're not going to be able to throw him out, but yet, you know, they can break him over a, a long period of time. And yet, you know, it looks, I mean, these dudes are uh, issuing firearms to, um, you, you know, women and children. And, and these guys are, are, are refined in guerrilla warfare. So, I think that's what's going to go on over there. This is going to be a big drain on his economy. Um, and you, you know what? It, it, it's tightening the bonds between the U.S. and the EU, which is good. Um, and that alone might deter Ch China from making a move. You, you know, and that's what we got to worry about. It's China moving on Taiwan because um, that poses a, a big uh, security risk for us. So, um, all right. So let me not babble now. You can get this on... Uh, on PBS and, and the like. Um, so, okay, so that's what we're looking at um, for um, SPX. We want to see a break of the high tomorrow. We want that weekly uh, um, um, uh, bar to close the way it looked. Let's just take a quick look at AMC. See you real soon. Dink, dink, dink. And everybody kind of took the ride up. Um, and uh, I kind of like their daily chart. So I would wait um, for a break here again, and this is a uh, pretty encouraging, right? We put out, put out this little pennant and, um, it broke the pennant and then snapped back that, um, lends to the credibility of the break to the high over here. I mean, there's a long, heavy bar. You can get involved with it, break in tomorrow and see if you hit that. You'll probably make that, uh, that pennant, that, that trend line, the test will be breaking through it. So, I mean, you could trade this bad boy, take a little bit of profits there, raise your stops to a break even, see if you break here 
and keep on keeping on. I mean, look, dude, it's not going back to 100. Wake up. But if there's momentum in it and it's setting up trading patterns and there's orderly trading, then, hey, you, you know, if you're into it, trade it. I mean, you could do the same thing in any other vehicle. Um, if you invested in it, bad move. Um, but again, these are opinions. Just understand that, you, you know, there's a guy who's right and there's a guy who's wrong. That's why, you, you know, some people make money, some people don't make money. Everybody doesn't make money in the market. It's impossible. Every time you book a profit, somebody booked a loss. That's the reality of it. Maybe I'm the guy in AMC. Hey, there's a cat out there named Monkey Nuts who thinks I'm the wrong guy in um, Bitcoin. Um, I've been wrong before. <laughs> it's not that common. I haven't been doing this since the early 90s successfully because I don't have foresight. foresight. Um, okay, so um, I don't like this, man. I thought Bitcoin was going to close on a hammer. I looked at it before and I was like, yo, this looks like a trade. And let me tell you something. I'm not saying don't touch Bitcoin, but don't get in the camp that this is gold or this is an, um, a, an investment or an alternative to currency. It's um, a speculative vehicle right now that I'm very convinced will not be viable in a few years. I mean, blockchain is cool. Digital currency is cool. But um, the, the, the whole concept just doesn't work. You will have digital currency um, um, under government rule. That's the reality. And I mean, you know, you can be as conspiracist and think there's a revolution coming. But, yeah, you know, like they were saying today, um, never make a bet on the end of the world because it always happens once and it's a long shot. <laughs> it only happens once and it's a long shot. Um, so anyway, um, I would have liked this to have closed up at the highs and it would have been a, a nice, uh, setup for a trade, but it's not there. Um, I don't like the thirties. Uh, I don't like the sixties. So I'm going to have to look at it today. The trade in Bitcoin, if you were clocking it today, was right here. Here's the trend. You, you can see the trend reversal right there where it, it, it's going down. It's making it slow. It's, it makes a lower high. It makes a higher low, and then the the aggressive trade would have been the break right here, which would have been an easy trade because you enter here, you put your stop here, and this bad boy didn't even challenge that stop. You, you know, I mean, it whacked up. You got excited, got you in, came back. That could get your um, your testes in a twist, but then it just grinded its way up. So this would have been the trade. That would have been the aggressive entry. The conservative entry would have been right by the cross edge, right, right here, um, at this high. Which is this high is uh, thirty five eight twenty. So conservative entry, you would have entered there, put your stop there, and it would have um, you, you would have been in right over here and carried that uh, that trade. And yo, know, that would have been a nice trade. I mean, if you could have caught that, it just came back so aggressive. Um, makes me uncomfortable. So um, anywho, that's it. That's it on the market, baby. Baby, baby. Um. I'm just looking at uh, interest rates. They're looking good. I think interest rates are going to start consolidating around here. I mean, they got to close this gap. They're going to close this gap and then start consolidating around here for a while. For a while, probably into the summer, I'd say this is going to be our range. All right, so that's it. In a nutshell, um, I hope everybody made money. I did all right, man. I took some... Um, I, I took some um, short positions last night on uh, on uh, SPX, closed them out pretty early. I was a little leery. I was thinking, you know me, I always close shit out real uh, real quick. Um, and um, then it turned around. And I was about to uh, take a few long positions, but I held out and uh, didn't do it. Um, so, and that happens. I mean, I lose my balls once I've made money already. So, um, I mean, I can't argue. I mean, if I make all these mistakes in the right direction, I'm making money, you bitch. So uh, anyway, um, remember, yo, um, yo, literally had Psycho Trader on the phone before the market opened. He was in tears, going to blow up his portfolio and the whole nine yards. And the market ripped back and saved his ass again. Like, yo, God watches over children and fools. Um, so don't be that guy, man. Um, don't, in, don't get involved that aggressively. Don't put yourself in a position that if everything goes wrong, you're going to get hurt. 
make less money, trade less. It's risk management, okay? And when you're in the market, what do you got to do? You got to be calm and cool. You got to be at peace, all right? I'm sure you've heard enough of me. Um, everybody have a nice evening and good luck trading.